Oh, hi, hi there. there. We're back. Well, we're not back. This is a new series, technically. It's very similar to what you press the button, but this is Would You Rather. Mm. And, um, yeah, pick the left side or the right side. Which one would you ever do? I don't know. Which one would you ever do in this scenario, Simon? Well, I, yeah, I saw this question. I I would fight an entire village, the, the Smurf village. <laughs> just <laughs> because, right? The Care Bears, they care, yeah, but they're still bears. Right? Bears are serious shit. Like, if they were. They're not, they're not full on bears, though, are they? Well, I mean, I don't know, but, you know, I don't want to take a chance. I mean, like, Smurfs could, like, nibble at your ankles, that would hurt. They could, they could, you know, but, like, you know. I, I think I could take them on better than the. Unless it's, like, Avatar. <laughs> But no, <laughs> I, I just got this nasty feeling that, that if the Care Bear, if your shit was being thrown down at Care Bear Central, that they would get the claws and the teeth out and it would be serious. I mean, they do have, like, quote unquote superpowers. The yeah. Care Bears, so, you know. Yeah. And, they're big, and they're bigger. Yeah. I don't know how many of them there are. I think I would get destroyed by one Care Bear. <laughs> okay, we're fighting Smurf I feel yeah. like I could at least Probably kick agree. one or two Smurfs, you know, in, yeah, in just... the balls. <laughs> Whereas the Care Bears, I feel like it would just be a morning. You take out half the village in one sweep, it'd be fine. Oh, All right. Geez. Would you rather eat a rotten raw steak? Oh, my God. That's not good. Or eat a human's cooked liver. Now, <clears throat> at the end of the day, if it's rotten and raw, that'll probably get you majorly sick or kill you. And if it's cooked, if you, you know, if it's, you know, like, boiled or something, hmm. it would be easy and relatively safe to eat. If you just swallow it whole, would you then have an additional liver? <laughs> <laughs> just make sure it, like, lands perfectly in Yeah. Ooh. Okay, I got two liver now. Now I'm invulnerable. <laughs> I got that's more how, liver. That's how that works. Yeah, I, I, I mean, jokes aside, I'd oh, do that. Does it have to be rotten as well? <laughs> yeah, right. It's bad <laughs> enough rule. I know. Yeah, people agree with me, man. It's a safe way to do it. Oh. Be resistant to cold and impossible to freeze to death. I mean, that's not normally a problem. In no. Life. Be resistant to heat and impossible to burn to death. That's more of a problem. <sighs> I mean, fire is more of a problem. Yes way more yeah yeah that's obvious then it, I... resistant to heat you could go you could just <clears throat> like i mean i wouldn't do this anyways but i could randomly explore some like you know egypt or summer and yeah. be resistant to heat it wouldn't bother me that would be way more beneficial yeah because the i mean my thought was like oh it'd be like like which would be worse to die to but simply put you know you're not likely to freeze to death dude i like being cold as well yeah, like i yeah. personally love being cold I mean, so it, i would not take away the ability to be cold if being resistant to heat as well would make it seem just cooler in like a heat wave like the one we've been in yeah then yeah yeah red yeah. all the way yeah this is, yeah. This is an easy one yeah people agree people agree yeah uh would you rather talk like yoda <laughs> I should have done a bit about that. <laughs> oh, uh, or breathe like Darth Vader. No, who wants to breathe like someone who sounds like he's on the verge of death? Midichlorians not included. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think... I'd rather talk like Yoda. I'd, yeah. be, I'd like to be known as the weird... Like, if I had the full-on voice and accent and everything... Mm. Accent, I don't know if there's actually an accent in it. Um, but uh, anyways, yeah, if I had the full... I could get something as like a Yoda impressionist. Maybe get a job out of it. Who's this weird guy breathing like Darth Vader? Oh, you know? Wow! Yeah, you could be a voice actor to do. Yeah. You know, the, yeah. Yeah. There's no way that breathing like like Darth Vader is better. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's fairly close. There's a lot of people that want to breathe like weirdo. Yeah. <laughs> like... Would you rather eat early Chinese food all the time? Chinese food is good. Or eat early Mex. Oh, it could have been anything, but Mexican is my heart. I, Mexican is my number one. I wouldn't really have much of a stance on this because... I, I can tell I, you now, I can tell you now, Mexican food, and because you're related to me, there's a possibility that you'll love certain Mexican I, foods. I have the Mexican loving food gene. Yeah, dude, Mexican food is up there. Chinese food is good as well. That means I probably won't be able to have like noodles slash ramen or anything like that. Does pot is... noodle count? <laughs> like, has that been... 
has kind of been adopted yeah. from the Chinese stuff and then turned into like an English thing. Like Americans don't know about. That's our pot my only soup. question. <laughs> Is the pot noodle safe? Oh, the pot noodle originates from China, but it was functionally turned into like an English thing. It's been so westernized. it's like it. The pot noodle gets a little less good, <laughs> you know. Can you deal with a little less good pot noodle? I mean, sometimes I don't make them very good. So, yeah. You know, put too much water in it. It's just Mexican! <laughs> oh, what? Come on! Chinese... People people need to try their Mexican food more. I know Chinese food is more popular, but mm. they, people need to try their Mexican food more. Mexican food is so good. Would you rather a spouse with trees as arms or a spouse with alligator arms? Well, I mean... These are both very inconvenient, but I'd rather not get bit. Yeah. This seems... Super easy, easy because yeah, there's no. Some people chose that. Not some. Four hundred and forty-seven thousand, almost four hundred and forty-eight thousand. I mean, I guess uh, there's splinters to watch out for, but there's also alligators. <laughs> I guess maybe they didn't say if they were live alligator arms. True, but I still feel I'd rather have a spice of trees for arms rather than a woman I mean, you would be able to walk her in alligators <laughs> flopping around on her. Uh, would you rather... I know my answer for this. Fruit. Really? Fruit. Vegetables, dude. There's, there's only... There's only a couple fruits I like, but there's barely any vegetables that I like. Oh, vegetables are so good. It's a good thing this is my question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this, this, is, this is one of those, again, where it's like... I, 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 don't really know. I do appreciate... I do appreciate um, some fruits, but... I love a lot of vegetables. Vegetables, good man. Get a bit of brock in you. Yeah. There, good bit of brock. There are some, but like, I don't know. Hey, especially if you mix a bit of uh, gravy with your vegetables. Oh, that's really good. You could spice them up a bit, but the vegetables from what? What? Um, <laughs> what? Eat your vegetables. No. <laughs> no. 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 What? That's... I can't believe I'm in twelve percent. All right, would you wow. rather live in ancient Greece or live in ancient Egypt? This, I was thinking more Greece, just because I feel like Egypt probably had more like sacrificing people. Well, think of the, the conditions as well. In Egypt, you've got all the sandstorms and stuff. Mm. Like, that'd be awkward. Wow. Yeah. Not awkward. <laughs> oh, that's awkward. <laughs> oh, Bill, awkward sandstorm over here. Yeah, no, um, <laughs> sandstorm. That's I meant, inconvenient. I meant, yeah, I did just say inconvenient, actually, but it's been more than inconvenient. Um, anyways, yeah, I'd, I'd say ancient Greece. I feel like Greece, yeah. No. Let's go Greece. Let's go Greece. Greece lightning I mean, with the win. Yep. Would you rather be a rock star or be a movie star? Well, I'm already halfway to one, so I might as well be bloody pick it. I feel like. I feel like there was a time where I would have definitely chosen a rock star, but I feel like now I'd probably choose a movie star. Easily a rock star, dude. For, for me. Yeah. I, I mean, both are great. I, I, I would love to be in a movie. Like, it's something obviously every kid's thought about as a, as a kid. <laughs> every kid has thought about as a kid. Yeah. Thought about. Kids tend to think of stuff when they're kids. <laughs> Nonetheless. Um, what do you want to be when you grow up, Jimmy? I'm not an adult yet, so I'm not going to decide. <laughs> Just think of the movies you could be in, like, you know? The, you, the thing with Rockstar is you're touring and you never really get to see where like the places you're going you more just tour you see some of them but most of them you're you're going again to somewhere else whereas movie star i can imagine you know obviously because you're on set you know all these days you get to really explore the place yeah it's, it's a toss-up but for you, me it would be movie star oh yeah I could it's, be, it's, it's either or for me so i might as well go new movie star i could be in the next jurassic park film <laughs> be the raptor i could be the raptor <laughs> all right we'll do one more to round this off a very good one <laughs> ask and it delivers <laughs> Three nipples or one nipple? Easily one nipple. Easily. Yeah. I like how you've already got an answer for this. Like Dude, freaking like when it's cold and you got the nips out, you'd mm. only have one out. Yeah. But like, 
if you had three, you'd sort of have like join the dots thing going on. <laughs> if you ever get bored, this one power you have, and you go hmm, join the dots. <laughs> Oh, you can join the dot, you just go, mm, and back to the same dot. Same thing. <laughs> Not the same. So it's free for you. I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't think you care, honestly. I, I, like, I'm thinking about it, and I'm, you just jumped in there, you were like, man, I've already thought about this. <laughs> this, is, this is a wonderful situation for me. <laughs> I always I always felt that two was, was too many, and <laughs> if I had a chance to go up or down. Can we choose? Where the nipples go? Oh, that'd be fun. Because <laughs> <laughs> you could just have them like in random places. It'd be like, oh, you got one down here. It's like there's two more to find. <laughs> Step up, <laughs> find the free nippled man. <laughs> <laughs> They're in random places. Um, uh, honestly, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do you have a preference, eh? Uh, let's let's go with one, because I guess that way you've only got one to worry about. <laughs> There's one little guy to worry about. No, it doesn't matter. That's where we're leaving that. That was amazing. Okay, we'll, we'll do one more of these. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do one more of these, and we'll move on to something else. Have we'll it in catch the middle. you guys. Be like a cyclops, <laughs> but like a nipple. <laughs> We'll catch you guys in the next Would You Rather. Oh, oh bye there. there. Christ. <laughs> oh, so it's a good one. Three devils are one. <laughs> <laughs> Too perfect, really. Oh.